Well, as you can see, I did the uh, opening of the packs, or at least the, the cutting of the packs in time lapse, because <laughs> that took around five minutes. And this is already going to be a fairly long video, so I wanted to expedite whatever I can. On a side note, that was pretty scary for a moment there. This pack, as I was cutting it, I felt resistance, and I didn't think about it at first until I like finished cutting. And this is going to be the first pack we open uh, because I've already seen, thankfully, the card that we uh, did a little bit of shaving off the top there was just, you know, a regular, you know, common card nobody really cares about. So, anyways, this will be the first pack we open. Welcome to Sword and Shield Fusion Strike. This is a booster box opening. There's going to be code, ca code cards. There we go. Um, and this is, I'm pretty excited for this. This is one of the first times I believe, I, I don't believe I've ever actually had a booster box, um, early like this, let alone to be able to do a video of. Let's check out this new artwork. Um, we did the build and battle boxes, uh, about a week or two ago, I think it was a couple weeks ago. And that was pretty successful. Simiseer, Cross Seaver, Clawitzer, Makuhita, that's the... We trim the top off there. Handpour, Swaddle, Skarmory, Jinx, Excadrill Reverse Hollow, and Latios. Non hollow, but still kind of a cool card. Um, anyways, so we did the build and battle uh, box, and that one was really successful. I pulled um, cards that I sold, ended up selling on eBay for. $40 and $85, so I was pretty happy with that. And that was just in general a successful video. I very much enjoyed Apparently, people are excited for Fusion Strike. Oh, okay, so I forgot about this. We have new code cards. Um, I believe these work reverse of the old ones. So this has like this white border. I think these are the ones. I'm gonna check. Yeah, so the last pack did not have a hollow or better and had these white backgrounds. So we'll be avoiding that from now on, uh, but now we know. They're also in preparation for the new Pokemon trading card game live. So we're pretty excited for that because they'll finally be bringing it properly to Android phones. And let's go. One, two, three, four. A little bit spoiled on this one because we know there's nothing all that exciting here. This score. Stantler. We'll look at some of this artwork and then we'll start moving faster as we go. Cinescorch, Zora, Zorua, Shelder. I like that artwork there. Bunch of Shelders kind of going down the drain. <laughs> Caterpie. Also some really good artwork. I don't think I saw this in the Build and Battle opening, but um, I think I saw this when it was uh, open in Japanese on uh, Max Mofo. Drillbur. Shinx. Excelgore. Reverse Hollow. Reverse Hollow Rare. I'll actually go ahead and set that aside. And Araquanid Non Hollow. So we know it was up there. Alright, let's keep going. I do not remember if there is a. Oh, I gotta start doing it backwards. There we go. I do not remember if there is a. Uh, anything special for Pikachu up beyond. I think I just had the Reverse Hollow. Obviously, I'm hunting down Pikachus, as always. Uh, I need to find the Raichu. However, to match my reverse hollow Pikachu. We have Darkness Energy, Bug Catcher, Wig Wigglytuff. Oh, that is so cool. A little knit Wigglytuff. Very cute. That is so cool. 
Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff were always a favorite of mine from Kanto from Gen 1. Phalanx, um, Skitty, another Phalanx. Okay, so this is a big set, and I, I liked it. I think it was Cosmic Eclipse that had uh, multiples of some of the same Pokemon, so I'm kind of glad to see that back. Choodle, Vullaby, Dewfighter, Reverse Hollow, Sizzlepeed, and Non Hollow, Azumarill. Anyways, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff were always favorites of mine. Um, they were some of the early Pokemon I was exposed to as a kid because when we really didn't understand what Pokemon was, um, we were we were buying the battle figure sets, and one of the first ones I got was Jigglypuff Wigglytuff. I think it was the first actually, and I kept Jigglypuff and gave my little brother Wigglytuff, and we were always playing with those. So it was cool. Graplocked, Diggersby, Sydney. Drillbur, Shinx, Buneary, Bun whatever, Basculin, I don't think I've seen that one, Grubbin, another, is that a knit? Yep, another little knit Pokemon, very cute, I like those kind of little alternate types of little parts out. Graplock Reverse Hollow, I'm gonna have to hold these up a little more light there. <gasps> oh boy. A secret rare trainer, hyper rare, rainbow rare, Shauna. This might be a big one. I will definitely be looking into that. I love these. Um, oh my gosh. So gorgeous. I love the texturing they do on these now. Check that out. Look at the shine. Always good to get full art or secret rare trainers that is impressive <laughs> that was early on in this opening hopefully we have not peaked i know that there's a lot of other stuff alternate arts and things so i don't know how the seeding goes when it comes to that we will see what else we could potentially get out of this just a good way though a good way to start though that that's a good card i i just know it trainers always good in full art or even the, the hyper rare. Hyper rares are usually a little less um, popular. Breloom, uh, Cross Switcher, Garbodor, Orpeko, Smeargle, Quillfish, Tynamo. That's uh, some, what do, they, what do they call it? Like plasticine artwork there. Galarian Meowth, Reverse Hollow Vulpix. I like that. That means uh, we should have a decent. Oh, I already saw the Nine Tails somewhere, but I need the uh, the shiny Nine Tails and non-hollow Zorora. Getting a lot of these non-hollow rares. Um. Anyways, so the full arts are usually more popular than these, just because people like the colorization and, and the way that the the artwork appears on them better. But either way, good pull. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on what, how the seeding goes in these packs, or in uh, these boxes. Um, because I know that before you would get like a hyper rare or full art or something like that in old boxes. Along with, uh, I don't know, just, just certain numbers of, of the cards. But now it's with all these alternate arts, I don't know what takes the place of what. You know, if I got this, do I not get an alternate art now, or, or so forth. Simiseer, Cross Seaver, Sligu, regular Meowth, Onyx, kinda cool to see him around. Shootle, Shroomish, Clefki, Reverse Hollow of Sandy Gast, and on Hollow Gudra. Interesting though to be sitting here pulling a lot of these um, non hollow rares and have already gotten this. So hopefully there's still plenty of goodness left in this box. I am going to have another video of some other Fusion Strike products probably in the next couple days. Definitely wanted to get started with this one just to kick things off, especially since I was able to get it, my hands on it a little bit early. Let's go with Fire Energy. There's Ninetales. I like that artwork. Very cool. That isn't uncommon, so we won't see a hollow, unfortunately, but maybe there's a rever maybe we'll get a reverse hollow Ninetales. Dreadnaw. Sligu. 
Chansey. Very, <laughs> very cute. That's like a giant Chansey. What the heck? Galarian Zigzagoon. Man, that is such cool artwork. Oh my god. That is really cool. Look at that man key hanging in a tree. It, it, it's crazy to me that like the artwork is so good, especially the last couple of years. I, I feel like the artwork is so good. Oh well, we've done that. Growlithe, Vika Vault. Okay, this makes me happy, and it's a reverse hollow rare. I collect Vika Vault. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this, so that's gonna be. Is that a full art? Genesect V? Yes, oh my goodness. All right, so the Hyper Rare Trainer does not preclude getting the full art, it seems, because that is definitely not a regular V. Genesect V, full art. And Genesect is one of the cover character, or, or pack characters, so that is awesome. This has turned out to be a good box. Good box. Very nice. Very excited to see what that one's, that, what the demand is for that one. Um, <laughs> back to Vika Volt. Vika Volt is one of those few like newer generation Pokemon I really like, and I've started kind of a little little collection on the side of Vika Volt cards. Um, so to see a Reverse Hollow here of that, and know that there's going to be a regular Hollow as well, I'm pretty happy about that. So we'll set that up here with these other good pools. Let's go ahead and go with Genesect as a pack, since we just pulled the Genesect full art. I think I am going to keep a few of these for myself, these code cards at some point. So there might be some I actually pull and just set aside because I am definitely ready for um, the new Pokemon trading card game. Turtonator, interesting. Bunny, Basculin. Grubbin again. Man key. Oh, so the point I was making about that is how, how crazy it is that we can get such great artwork. I mean, look at this man key. Look at this crow gunk. Like there's so much so many neat concepts and, and well done artwork. Even the Vika Volt. Like check that out. This stuff looks so cool. And yet Sword and Shield just looks so generic and blah when it comes to the video game. Reverse hollow Rotom. Non hollow Corviknight. Okay, so we, we're we basically pulling um, non-hollow rares or really good cards. Oh, no, wait, yes, this way, this way, this way. There we go. Oop. Sort of chill fusion strike. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to kind of randomly start setting aside code cards for myself. And then that way people can just keep watching if they want to grab some uh, for themselves as they go. Spongy gloves. This attack, the attacks of this poke of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active water Pokemon. Interesting items. Interesting items. Could you imagine actually putting spongy gloves on your Pokemon? Uh, Frost moth. Man key. Wonder what the primate's gonna look like. Clauncher. Growlithe. A little stuffle under the night sky there. Very cute. I mean, look at that. Look at that artwork. It's so cool. Like, why don't they hire these people to do, like, the, the art design? Like, they obviously they're not digital artists, or, but do the art design for Pokemon games. Sigalyph. Reverse Hollow Steelix. We saw this guy when I did the build and battle. Very nice. Gengar V. Very cool. Not, I'm ass assuming not, like, some crazy pull or anything, but I am a big Gengar fan. This will definitely be staying in my collection. It looks like he's doing, um, uh, what is that? Oh, I can't remember what that one's called, but it's not one of these attacks. I'm, I'm telling you, Dark Slumber Pain Explosion, not Ghost Ball. I can't remember what it is. We're going to set Gengar V right up there. Anyways, I just, I've been watching a video by a guy, I think his name is Radical Soda on YouTube, and it's basically, it's nine months old, so it's a little older, but it's, um basically a four hour breakdown of why Sword and Shield are just not that great of games, you know? And he doesn't even get like crazy fanboyish or anything like that. He just plays through it so you don't have to basically, you know, in a condensed form. 
giving you really good commentary as you go. And I very much enjoyed the video. Radical Soda, I think it was something about like, um, the games were purposely designed to be bad. <laughs> and really, you could tell, like there's people that will argue against it. I have friends of my own who are also Pokemon fans and you know, casual and hardcore, and they basically will, will, will actually argue in defense of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And it's like, you know what? It's fine if you enjoyed the games. That that's how I've always said it. It's like it's fine if you enjoy certain things, as long as you're able to. Pukey Muku, Pukey Muku. Fascinating. Okay. Neat artwork though. As long as you are able to recognize when something is objectively bad or low effort or whatnot. You know, it's like there's a lot of, of games I like that I could say, yeah, they're not really that good. Trubbish. How about that? Just a little trash bag sitting in the trash. Pokeballs and bananas. Um, Totodile. Phantom. A little reverse hollow snom there. But I can... It, movies as well, you know? Like, there's horror movies and sci-fi movies out there that I really like and but I'm perfectly willing to admit are kind of trash. They're just not good. You know, I like them because I like the genre and um, something about it appeals to me, even in its lower quality or whatever, just the lower expectations. It's easier to go in and just have a good time. There are people who are just not able to, okay, so there's the regular Shauna. So I'm hoping I get a reverse hollow of that to stick with the, uh, the full art. Very cool. Big Teeny, Electric, Stuffle, Sigalith, Toxel, that's pretty cool again, Totodile, Bunnery, Reverse Hollow, Leaveny, Leaveny, kind of cool, that's a Reverse Hollow Rare, oh finally, Hollow Rare Tox Toxtricity, pretty cool, um, I'm assuming because we have not gotten very many um, <laughs> hollow rares that I'm going to start pulling a whole bunch of them here shortly. Um, let me put these in their own little pile over here. Anyways, Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can definitely tell there was just not that much effort into it. It was, it was they need to capitalize. I'm going to do another code card for you guys. They need to capitalize on the success of the Switch and get a Pokemon game out on Switch that was a mainline game. And they did it, you know. That that's about the that's about the extent of it, you know. It wasn't anything revolutionary. They didn't take advantage of Galarian Linoon, like that artwork too. They didn't take advantage of the fact that they're on a brand new pop, uh, platform and had all new power and reach and everything. You know, just new capabilities in general with a, a touch screen mobile device that could also be plugged into your TV. Reverse Hollow Snorlax, very cute, very cool. Snorlax is a, I've never been a big fan of him, but he's grown on me lately. And non Hollow Zorora, again. Anyways, they didn't take advantage of any of this, you know, like the first Pokemon games on the DS, I believe, I believe it was Diamond and Pearl. And what do you know, those were fantastic games and they're getting their remakes now and they're going to be, you know, even though they're using their little chibi artwork, honestly, I think it's better than what we've seen in Sword and Shield. They've done a, I think they're doing a pretty good job of it so far from what I've seen. We'll see how it plays out. I have Meryl, oh my God. That is such cute artwork. God, I love Pokemon when it comes to this TCG. <laughs> Helioptile, Wooloo. Gossifleur, Mudkip, Reverse Hollow, Zorora, Not Hollow Claydol. So I think the back end of these of these packs is going to be very heavily heavily loaded with Hollow rares. Um, yeah, very very big missed opportunity. Could have been very impactful, and I really think Sword and Shield is just going to go down as a very forgettable Pokemon experience, especially when when Brilliant Diamond and Pearl come out. Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl come out. Um, I think that there's going to be a lot of... I think they're going to be more popular than, than Sword and Shield in many ways. Like, they're just going to last. Schoolgirl. 
Chili and Silent Cress. Interesting. They're gonna. It's it's definitely bringing back older players. I did not buy Sword and Shield, and I've seen too much of it to ever buy them. I'm just I'm good. You know, other people played it for me. I'm, I don't need to to experience that. Geo, dude. I like it. Indeed. Oh, well, that means the the, the Gotha Reader or whatever. I don't know if that's similar. Inteleon V. Eh. Um. So I, it's bringing back older players like me and my friends that were you know, older generation players are going to get it. And then, of course, it's going to have the new players are going to play it as well. So I think it's going to be pretty successful in that sense. And because Diamond and Pearl were such good games, it's going to, as long as they translate it well and didn't screw something up on, on the way, it's going to be just fine. Now, we'll just have to see what happens when we come along. <laughs> nice little Makahita. When we come along to the next um, major mainline games, it's going to be interesting to see where, where what they learn, if anything, or maybe I, I just think it needs to be taken out of the game. <gasps> what? Two full? Okay, okay. Boltund V full art. That's crazy. I, I wasn't expecting it. I, I, for some reason, I assumed that if I got a full art in a box, and that was it for full art. Um, we have the Genesect V full art as well. And Shauna there, of course. So, Bolton V full art. Very nice. Okay. I, I, I'll take any full arts. So, all right. Anyways, I'm having some pretty good luck with this fusion strike. I'm not sure if that's like, if the, the pull rates are higher in this set yet. I haven't seen enough of it on YouTube or anything to know. I haven't seen any reports on that. So I guess we'll just have to find out because there's definitely a part of the community, Sharpedo, I like that. Dar there's definitely a part of the community that seems it's, it's odd. It's like they want everything to be easy. They want everything to be common and they, because they, Wow, Shand Sandshrew, that is so cute. It's like a little plasticine. Sandshrew, really like that. Sandshrew and Sand Slash have always been favorites of mine too. But it's like they want the collecting aspect to be easy, and I think that really takes something away. That's cool, Impidimp and a um, what do you call that? The replacement thing. I was I was thinking Gengar doing that move for some reason. Uh, Glagar reverse hollow, hollow sand, non hollow rare. Anyways, um, I just always, I always, to me, I like there being a bit of a challenge to it and being able to say, hey, you know, this wasn't easy to get. You know, it's a rare card. It's actually your your pull rates aren't so high that anybody can get these cards. You know makes it more special when you do collect it or when you do find it or get your hands on it. Some people seem to want this all to be like super easy. And a lot of the, a lot of who, who they call scalpers, I don't think of as scalpers, they're just people that <laughs> invest. Jigglypuff, that is super cute artwork. Looks like he's just like bouncing around in a field or something. Um, I've had the same desire to do it myself, you know, buy a product and leave it sealed and see where it goes over a couple of years. That to me is part of collecting. We do those things. Chili and Silent and Cress, Reverse Hollow. Cloyster, not hollow rare, but dang, check out Cloyster. Looking beefy there. Looking like he's ready for a fight. Very cool. I don't know, collecting to me has always been more of a, about the chase and not necessarily having everything be easy to find. You know, sometimes you do have to go out and buy it. Sometimes sometimes something is hard enough to find and is in high enough demand, you have to go pay for it. It's just how it is. Now, can some of that be a little bit artificial? Because of people, um, there's Primate. That's cool artwork as well. I tell you, they, like Pokemon has really been knocking it out of the park when it comes to artwork for a couple years now. I, f I feel like Cosmic Eclipse was like a major 
major turning point when it came to these concepts of doing alternate arts and character arts and Plusle looking really cool there. I'm always a big fan of the electric rodents. Uh, oh, speaking of, more Peko is another one that's had to grow on me. Nice little reverse hollow there for another Pikachu knockoff. Golem! Oh, that's cool. Doing a little self-destruct there is what it looks like. They call it Desperate Blast. Double edge. Golem has always been a favorite of mine, but it's, <laughs> it's always kind of irritated me in the games that he's really only accessible um, by trading Graveler. And oftentimes I don't have somebody to trade with. So we'll see when it comes to um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, because buddy of mine is supposed to be getting one of those. So if there is Graveler in um, those games, then it's gonna be kinda nice to actually finally be able to trade and get me a Golem, because I don't think I've ever in all of my playthroughs of Pokemon, like back in the day in Yellow, and all those, like, I, I didn't have somebody to play with. I was basically sneaking to play that stuff, um, so my parents wouldn't know. It was an interesting time back then, when all the parents were, like, against Pokemon and you had to work around it. Reverse Hollow Judge. Bet you the full art of that's pretty, pretty good one. And Starmie! Very nice! Hollow Starmie! Another one, along with uh, Gengar and Vigavolt that I like to collect on the side. I love Starmie. So, nice. Very, very cool. Probably had something to do with having a big crush on Misty when I was a kid. Alright. Code for me. <laughs> I think that might be what we do. Code for me, code for you, code for me, code for you. Not trying to be selfish. You guys are getting something out of it. But... I, I am pretty excited to start playing um, the new Pokemon trading card game when that comes out. Sizzlepeed, Clef Key, Hand Sage, Woo Woo, Hand Cham. That's pretty cute. He looks a little like. He always looks angry. But he's like sitting alone there watching the sunset. Pissed off because somebody took his snacks. I don't know. It's, he's always mad. Corvus Squire, Reverse Hollow. It's actually a pretty card right there. Fury Attack, carrying them rocks to drop on someone's head, it looks like. And regular Vika Volt. Don't really need that. I already have the Reverse Hollow, so I'm just looking for the uh, Hollow Rare. Another little Jigglypuff there. And then code for you guys. There we go. Like I said in my, my last video, I, I actually hope that somebody is actually watching these videos and taking those code codes, because basically when I'm done, I just kind of throw them out. So it would be a shame to have wasted code codes. If you are watching this video, if you are taking the codes, go ahead and uh, drop some comments. I've, I've never really done this, like encouraging comments and likes and all that stuff, but I, I know it's a thing everybody's doing Durant when they start getting you know people watching and stuff. It, it helps. It, it really does. So, Minon. Very nice. It looks like kind of the other, like another chapter of the artwork from Plusl. Um, but anyways, so here would here would be something I would ask. If you are collecting the code cards and using them for your online collection, uh, Reverse Hollow Darkrai. That's interesting that that's only an uncommon. And Non-Hollow Verizian. Verizon Wireless. Whatever. If you are taking those, um, let me know. It would be kind of cool to know if anybody is taking them at all. And then if you're getting anything good out of it, let me know. Like if, if you if you went online and did a poll with the, the code card, drop a comment and just be like, hey, I got the uh, full art new. God, kind of shame. I don't think I have a chance at that <laughs> in this box. Um, but yeah, if you are getting anything cool from them, uh, I would like to hear what, what it is you're getting and be um, jealous. Grubbin, such a cute one. Rotom, Smeargle, Carvana, Reverse Hollow Sydney, and a Hollow Rare Landorus. Never really cared for these guys. One of ones just, if somebody likes that Pokemon, I don't understand what they like about it. You know, it's kind of just where I'm at. There's several of those. 
especially coming from Sword and Shield. There's a... I don't think there was all that many Sword and Shield Pokemon that used the whole Galarian variant thing to fill the lack of creativity, but uh, the ones that did come from it, many of them I'm not a huge fan of. There's like one or two I think I like. Bustle again. Vulpix. Meltan. Okay. That's kind of cool. Swadloon from Swaddle. I think these are the ones that turn into Leviani or whatever. Ooh, Hollow for Alligator. Interesting. I like that. A little starter evolution there. Throw him over on the side. Yeah, I have noticed lately that I am getting some more subscribers, I am getting more interactions, especially on these types of videos, so it would be kind of cool to just, mostly it's a uh, confirmation, you know, like obviously I'm not making money, not like popular or anything, but it is kind of cool when you start to get like some of that community going on, some of the interactions to actually hear from people that they're watching and, and what's going on. Toxel? Is this another Toxel? Did I already see one? I don't remember. Star U, that is really cool artwork. Looks like he's uh, messing up the beach there. <laughs> I would like a reverse haul of that to go with Star Me. That would be kind of cool. Mawile, Verizon Wireless, reverse hollow rare. And Appleton V, nothing crazy there, but another V card. We're getting down to it here. I know it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. Card. But a booster box opening is pretty much always going to be a longer video, so to be expected. Galarian Perserker, Fusion Strike Energy. Oh, okay. Alessa Spark. Well, I want that full art, that's for sure. Minon, Ball Toy, Galarian Corsola, kind of cool. Quillfish, a different Vulpix. So I think there's two different Vulpix, two different Ninetales. Very nice, I like that. Reverse Hollow Meryl, very cute. Blue and shiny. And Blissey, not hollow. Expert in roundness. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Got a whole pile, you can't really see it. A whole pile of empty booster packs. Bags up there. Code card for me. Two, three, and four. Now, just think if I had actually done the oh, uh, cutting open of the packs on the video instead of in the uh, time lapse. <laughs> that would have been something. Clam Pearl. That's cool artwork. More Peko. Reverse Hollow for Alligator. And Arcanine Non Hollow. It's okay. We're almost done. We have like. Six more packs after this. We are getting there. Code for you. One, two, three, and four. I do hope there is like one or two decent pulls left in here. I mean, I know we kind of exhausted a lot of our luck, but hey, like I said, I I, I thought after the the build and battle box that I was going to be out of luck because that one was a that was really good. Flawitzer, Reverse Hollow. Snipe shot and crab hammer. Very nice. <gasps> okay. Cinder Ace V Max. I mean, again, this is not a crazy card of any sort, but it's a V Max and not bad. Not bad. Very cool. I will take it. I'll have to, I'll have to go through this and kind of like, once, once all is said and done, figure out, okay, how many V's do I pull? How many full arts, hyper rares, all that kind of stuff and just uh, kind of have an idea, I think, because they're usually pretty consistent, of what the pull rates are for a booster box of Fusion Strike. It's, it usually is something consistent with, you know, there, there's like usually a little bit of a rule to it, but every so often it seems like they change things up. Galarian, Meowth, Reverse Hollow, Toxtricity, Hollow Rare.
on that note, I might actually create a... Uh, oh, Togo tomorrow. Nice. I might actually create, when I do a the, the new TCG Online, might create an account for hands-free entertainment, and that actually, now that I think about it, this just, just kind of occurred to me, have a way of interacting with the channel um, by having it so I can add people from the channel and play them. Or trade. Oh, well, there is no trade, but at least play. Kangaskhan Reverse Hollow Rare. That's cool. I like Kangaskhan. Maloetta, non hollow. Pretty cool, though. Looks like she's uh, singing or something. Melodious Echo. This attack does 70 damage for each fusion strike energy attached to all your Pokemon. Dang! I mean, I'm not in the current, I'm not up on the current meta when it comes to Pokemon uh, TCG. I'm, I'm basically just a collector, but uh, certain things I read and I go, well, that sounds pretty darn good. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. Let's get focused. All right. Heliolisk, Dunsparce, Cramomatic, Sawaddle, Skarmory, Jinx, Mantine, Grubbin, Reverse Hollow, Mawile, Chop Chop Hold. And Lucario V. These are definitely better than the way they did the old GXs. I, I, I really like the, the Vs a lot better than they're doing these last couple sets. Code for y'all. One, two, three, and four. Beware. Track. Globe, Corvusquire, Snorlax, Snom, Dreepy, Makuhita, Rukidi. That's the first time I've seen that one that I know of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's in the, who's in the bulk pile here? It's getting a little tall. Reverse Hoddle, Hollow Battle VIP Pass. And there's that Electrode. I actually really want to get the, well, both the Reverse and the Hollow Rare Electrode. Would be really cool if there is like a, a full art Electrode. Or I know there was one on the old set, like a gold Electrode or something. Would love to get that. It's just one of those Pokemon that, again, for whatever reason, back in the day, I didn't like. And over the years, I've grown to have more of an appreciation for it. Pokeball Pokemon, or in the case of Electro, the upside down Pokeball. Shelmet, Plusle, Plusle. <laughs> when they were doing the tag team GXs, Plusle and Minon would have actually been a, a, a cool tag team GX. Meowth, Reverse Hollow Grubbin, and a Galarian Obstagoon Hollow rare. Got here. Three packs left. All right, three packs left. We're almost done. Final stretch here. Let's see if we get anything else interesting from this set. I, like I said, I do plan to have other videos of product from this set. We'll see how that goes. Skaters Park, Frostmoth, Togo Tomorrow, Mana, Meowth. Meryl, Helioptile, Wulu, Reverse Hollow, Metapod. I still haven't seen Butterfree, I think. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Luxray, interesting as a rare. Two packs to go. Looks like the way this timed out, the last code card is going to be for you guys. Dunsparce. Dancer, okay. Is there a full art dancer? I want that card. That would probably be a really popular one. Pangoro. Clobopus. Tynamo. Zorua. Caterpie. Shelder. Reverse Hollow. Low Bunny. Huntail. Balls from Clan Pro. That's interesting. <laughs> last pack. Will we have any last pack magic or do we use up all the magic already? Let's find out. Final code card. 
Okay. One, two, three, and four. Steel Energy, Cross Switcher, Crokona, Double, Glaring Corsola, Quillfish, Bullpix, Chansey, Glaring Zigzagoon, Reverse Hollow, Mantine, and Non Hollow Absol. Nothing, nothing interesting there. All right, but let's go over the good stuff. Let's see what we got. Let's start with the uh, the basic V's. All right, Gengar V. Very excited for that. Italian V, Lucario V, Cinder Ace V Max. That's a decent one. Oh, Appleton V. The first pack we open. Shauna. Hyper Rainbow Rare. Very nice pull. Um, the Boltund V Full Art. Very nice. And the Genesect V set. Um, I get the got two full arts, a rare, uh, hyper rare, four regular V and a V max. So not bad. I'm assuming if there's alt art, it could take the place of a full art or the hyper rare. We'll see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's a long one. Hopefully you made it to the end, grabbed you some code cards, saw some cool pools, and, uh, we should definitely have some more in the future. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up.